Welcome to Pumped Sizzed. Welcome to the world of Pint Sized. My name's Ollie and we've got awesome news. Yesterday evening, as I was sipping on a cool ski. 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 I got an email from one of the awesome people at Tastemade. It's a YouTube network. It's basically a cluster of similar channels all under one roof, sharing their audience, working with one another, and it's just being an awesome team. Whereas other YouTube networks have tens of thousands of YouTubers working with them, Tastemade only has a couple of hundred. They're all about quality over quantity, and they wanted Pint Sized to join them at their table. It should mean more collaborations. More than none isn't isn't very hard. Or what one is more than one is more than that. More opportunities to find awesome beers all across the world, and most importantly, more people coming to this channel and talking about beer. After all, that is the reason that I created Pint Sized. I don't really care about getting millions of views and making loads of money from it. It's easy to say when you're not making any money, isn't it? I just wanted a community of people like me that love beer, that can all come together, meet in a car park in the middle of the night, and just <laughs> What better way to celebrate this, and to celebrate the 250 subscribers we reached earlier this week, with giving away a box of awesome beer? As you probably remember in a previous episode, I offered the chance for one of our sort of 260-ish subscribers to get their hands on a crate of awesome beer as a thank you from me for being part of this channel. So here we go. I've put all your names in a hat, and the lucky subscriber is... Can't really do suspense. That's not his username. Why would that be a... No. It's Stuart Janssen. Janssen. Stuart Janssen. This guy, or one of those guys, not the dog, or the girl, I'm guessing. Congrats! Just send me a message or drop me an email, you can find it in the About page. And I'll get those congratulatory beers out to you as soon as I can. Don't worry if you didn't win this time, we're going to have a lot more beer giveaways in the future. Speaking of beer, today I'm drinking from the Union Brewery Unfilt Lager. That's enough of that. It's an unfiltered Hellas Lager from the And Union Brewery. It's basically a collaboration set up by three guys, Rui, Manuel and Bradley, of a lot of small, sometimes pretty old, up to 500 years old, breweries around Bavaria. They work with a lot of small brewmasters and are very much anti-macro. All their beers are unpasteurized, unfiltered, they do a lot of small production batches, and they take their time over their beer. They really enjoy their craft, and I've heard a lot of great things, and I love their label. Which is all that matters. It is unpasteurized, which I've had before, um, so I'm probably going to get milk disease. What's milk disease? Which one's that? Rubella? Rubella? Rebel Wilson? Okay. So the Unfilt Lager. It's 5%, 6 weeks brewing time, and it's just apparently an old school lager. Smooth mouthfeel, bursting with flavour, lemony, hay, biscuity, everything you expect. I hope it's pretty crisp, I'm pretty thirsty, and it's only 10.30 in the morning, so I'm way behind on my beer. Pouring in the glass. So, got a good old Bavarian head on there, and it's pretty hazy. I was kind of hoping from an unfiltered lager that it would be properly opaque, but... It looks good, it smells great, and it's got a really nice head, really, really tiny bubbles, just looks really smooth and fuzzy. It's got a really nice nose feel when you accidentally inhale all the bubbles. To be honest, it's lovely. Crisp finish, so smooth, as you would expect from something that's unfiltered and, of course, Bavarian. It's crisp enough to be refreshing, but it's still got a bit of density to it. It's not just like a standard shop-bought lager. The density does bring a bit of doughiness to it, which sort of tones down the sessionability of it, but it's still a lovely beer, and I'd happily have another 10. It's just a yummy Bavarian lager for a beautiful sunny day on the south coast. But to be fair, I'm in such a good mood that I probably could have had a glass full of mouldy custard uh, with stinging nettles and hypodermic needles, and I would have given it a 10 out of 10. Congrats once again to Stuart Jansen. Just contact me through the About page, and I'll get my beer on its way to you. And thank you, all of you out there that are subscribed and that watch these videos. You're the reason that I'm now part of a really exciting food and drink network. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. If you share it, I find out, and I might be sending you a couple of surprise beers. It's not poo in a bag.
It's not poo. It's not going to be poo in a bag. Have an awesome weekend, and let me know what beers you've got your sights set on for this weekend in the comments below. Cheers, guys. I'll see you next time. Mm -mm. Milky. Oh my god. Oh. oh, that's so much more sour than I thought it would be.